not worrying about what others really think about it. Being a creative to me is your ability to step outside the norm and venture into parts of yourself. Someone who is just eager to do whatever they feel is necessary to get their art across. Probably look like one of those pieces of art that was like everywhere, like paint splattered everywhere and stuff like just happening. It will probably be like an afro with like a lot of colors. A statue, like a like a shack statue, like at the Staples Center, just raw, just me dunking something. Hey, I'm Shauna. And I'm Martin. And welcome to this episode of the Black Money Series, where we're bringing you all things lifestyle, all things millennial, and all things be free. We're gonna talk to you about what it means to be a creative, challenging the stereotype of the starving artist and how you can still pursue your dream and secure the bag. So let's start. Are you in it for the love or for the hustle? Some people enter the art world for the love and passion behind it, but they're sometimes overlooked by those who are doing it for the hustle. Let's find out if you're in it for the love or for the hustle. And if you consider yourself an artist, you should probably pay close attention. Would you rather do what you love for a little bit of money or do what you hate for a lot of money? I love doing what I love, but I also love money. So it depends on how much you love money. I love money a lot, so I'm willing to do things that I hate to make a lot of money. Would you rather work multiple part-time jobs so you still have time to create, or would you rather work a full-time job and not have time at all? Um, I'd rather work multiple part-time jobs because I can't deal with a lot of people like that anyway. Would you rather charge your friend for a large project or let them have it for free? I would rather let them have it for free because it's my friend but uh, it depends on how large the project is. If it's, if it's real big, then I would feel the need to charge a little something and they'll probably understand that, but I would rather do it for free because I, I like my friends. Well, friends don't pay your bills. Yeah, you're, right, you're right. We get it. Sometimes people do it for the money. Sometimes people just love what they do. And sometimes you just need a little bit of both. But it's always important to remember that your art is yours at the end of the day. So regardless of what you're doing it for, always remember your craft is your priority. Facts. And speaking of facts, let's take a look at what it's like to be a creative in today's society. According to NBC, 41% of creatives save their coin compared to only 30% of those in finance. The average salary of a creative is about $55,000 a year. Yeah, that's basically nothing, but you know, you gotta pay the bills. Trash. 41% of creatives have a retirement or an emergency fund compared to only 30% of those in finance. Newsflash, it's okay to make money off of your art. Here are some tips on what you can do as an entrepreneur and secure the bag. Freelance, freelance, freelance. My middle name is Freelance. You're good at what you do, you know it. So why not build your portfolio and use your work to make some extra coin? Increase your hourly rate. We know this is a touchy topic, but if you're good at what you do, then those who support you will understand. Besides, you've got bills to pay. Social media is your friend. It's a tool. Your creative skills can become a social media service. Companies are always looking to add a little extra flavor, a little extra sauce to their social media pages. You know what I'm saying? Create some products and services. Trust us, people are always looking for those who can help with the look and design of digital ads, graphics, apps, videos, anything really. Yeah, Shauna knows all about that. Teach your skill. People are always looking to learn something new. Teach a class, do a webinar, have a workshop, share your craft with the world. Market yourself. Marketing is always necessary. And in this day and age, it's the best way to get your name out there. Consider using different tools that help market you and your craft to a larger audience. Use your resources. Your family, your friends, your co-workers, your pets. People making money off their pets out here. Oh, yeah, They're all true. there to support you. Use them, network, spread the word. Use your circle to help you. Ignore the 95% of people who tell you, you can't do it or it's not realistic or even ask, what's your backup plan? That's the surest way for you to fail. Instead, focus on what makes you happy and your passion. Focus on yourself, not them. These tips are definitely necessary, especially for me as an artist. As a freelancer, I have to keep this in the back of my mind and always remember that I can make money off of what I love to do at the end of the day. Exactly. And if you're still wondering how you can do that or if you need some inspiration on what to do, here are a few entrepreneurs who we think are taking over the creative game today. Joseph Wright. 
for Mel Thompson. Dez Martell. Paola Duran. Brandon Braxton. Tim Jones. Kalia Deborah. Uchenna Akosa. And these are just to name a few. There are so many others out there. You gotta search through your Twitter and your Instagram. You'll see a bunch of people. Right, right. The most important thing a designer should have is the power of imagination and visualization. That's something you should always remember. Well, that's it for this episode of the Black Money series. Make sure to follow us on social media at MyDFree on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can check out our other episodes of the Black Money series at MyDFree on our YouTube page, and you can check out new episodes every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Keep up with us. We're here to build and grow. Besides, what's better than building one billionaire? Building, building two. two. Opening line. She she got the two easiest lines in the whole script. I feel like I talk more than you in this. For the love of the husband. <laughs> you right? Read, read your thing again. <laughs> what? Just what? Yeah, right. just read your cast too. Today we're gonna talk about what it means to be a creative, challenging the stereotypes.